What's up guys, Carl here. Today, in my life, we're going to be doing some more awesome Power BI. So today is going to be a quick Power BI tip on how you can use bookmarks as buttons. If you have any questions, feel free to add those questions in the comments, as well as if you have any feedback, feel free to add that feedback to the comments below. And let's go ahead and dive right into it. All right, guys. So today we're looking at one of the Power BIs that I created and in this particular power bi we have this function here where you can use these as basically buttons to change on uh, your graphs on your report view and i'm going to be showing you guys how you can do that using bookmarks in power bi so let's go ahead and jump right into power bi desktop all right guys so now that we have power bi desktop open as you can see i have my three visuals right here and all these are simple shapes so if you come up here to insert and you can add different shapes and give it different functions so just to go ahead and explain to you how i was able to do this and how i'm going to show you guys is before we go ahead and go into those steps i'm just going to show you guys what you can do to execute this same function so what you want to do is you want to go to view and you want to also you want to open up bookmarks and selections so what happens is in your report view window you want to basically display everything that you want to display and associate it with whichever bookmark it is so the first thing you're going to do is just build out your visuals and you're going to put all your different shapes on there but then what you want to do is with each selection of the shape as you can see what you want to do is make each one of these shapes a bookmark and as you see I have map sizes region as well as map sizes region so if I click on map here you can see that in my section is pane certain things are hidden and certain things are shown and the same thing go for sizes and the exact same thing goes for region so how do we do this let's go ahead and do a new page here and with that same data we can go ahead and get rid of the bookmarks so what we want to do is just start from the beginning so we're going to insert shapes and let's just for the sake of this just go into let's just use two shapes so we're going to make it big it's just basically going to be two big buttons so before we make any changes to it we want to go ahead and style it the way we want it to be styled and i want to add some text in it and I just want to call this one on and let's increase the size of this and that looks good and then let's just go ahead and do this and we're going to call this one you guessed it off And let's just go ahead and change this one to red as well. All right, so next let's go ahead and create a visual. And let's just do this. Let's do that. And then let's go to our fields and let's just pull in just pull in some months and then let's do this all right good deal so now that we have we have two buttons basically two shapes two rectangles and then we have this graph so the next thing we want to do is we want to make this the on button so this will show this graph and when we click the off button it's going to turn it off so how do we do that we just come here Go to view. When, like I said, open up section and bookmark pane. And what we want to do since we're here is go ahead and add a bookmark. We're gonna we're gonna rename this bookmark and call it on. And then we're just gonna add another bookmark and we're gonna call that bookmark off. All right. So the the on bookmark is gonna be everything shown in the off bookmark is going to be 
this graph off. So let's just show you guys how to do that real quick. So with everything on, we can just come here and we can say update. All right. Next thing I want to do is I want to click on off. I want to make sure that this is selected. I want to hide that. And then I want to go back to off. And then I want to say update to this. Now, with that being said, we can click through the bookmark and you can see that when you turn it on, you show the graph. And when you turn it off, there is nothing. However, when you click on these, nothing happens. So the next step here is to go ahead and add an action to each one of these shapes. So right now, actions is off. What we want to do is change this to bookmark. And we want to name this bookmark on. And then we just want to click on this one. Turn this bookmark on. Go to bookmark. Change that bookmark to off. So now that we've done that, what we can do is toggle on, off. So now we have the ability to turn these on and off. So there you have it. Very quick and easy. If you have any questions about how that is done, feel free to leave some comments down in the comments. And if this has helped you also, leave some feedback. And if there's anything that I can do better also, provide some of that feedback as well. Once again, I'm Carl Huff. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tip. Peace. Before you go, if you're new to this channel, Here's a chance for you to subscribe and make sure you smash that thumbs up. Once again, make sure you leave some comments down in the comment section. And if you want to check out some more videos that may help you learn on the go as you grow, you can do so right now. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.